Creating your own background paper makes it easy to get the exact colors and patterns you want. And using wax paper is fun and can create an interesting pattern that reminds me of an animal print. Here are the tools and products you're going to need to do this technique. To begin, you're going to need a household iron. And I've taken all the water out of my iron because you don't want any steam when you're doing this technique. You're also going to need a dye ink pad. In this case, I'm using Memento Rich Cocoa. You're going to need a brayer. You're also going to need two pieces of copy paper or scratch paper, two pieces of glossy cardstock, and although you can do this technique with regular cardstock, glossy cardstock really gives this one a real pop. You're also going to need a piece of regular household wax paper and a paper towel. So to begin, you're going to take your piece of wax paper and you're going to crinkle it all up in a ball, just like that. And then you're going to create a little bit of a sandwich. And the reason why I make two at the same time is because you've got a piece of wax paper here that has wax on the front and on the back. And if you're going to go through the trouble of making a piece of wax paper background paper, you might as well make two at the same time. So here's the sandwich you're going to use. You're first going to put a piece of glossy paper, glossy side up. And then you're going to pop down your wax paper then a piece of glossy paper, glossy side down, and your other piece of scratch paper on top. Then I'm going to turn on my iron. It takes just a minute for the iron to heat up. Once the iron is heated up, and I have mine set at high, you're going to go ahead and iron right on top of that whole sandwich. It only takes a few minutes for the magic to happen. I'm going to turn that off right away. So now I've got two pieces of glossy paper that have a very interesting background on them. And I don't know if that the camera can pick that up at all. But wait till you see what happens once we put the ink on. Okay. So using my Memento Rich Cocoa ink, I'm going to ink it up with a brayer. And I'm going to go ahead and rub that brayer all over my glossy cardstock. Just all different directions. So now you can see I've got a really interesting pattern. But when I take my paper towel and I rub over the surface, everywhere that there's wax is going to turn completely white. And it really makes that pattern pop. Now you can take this piece of cardstock and trim it down to whatever size you need for a card. Here's the card that I created using my background paper. And I find that this background is just the perfect type of background for any kind of cute animal stamp. So I decided to make one with a couple of my favorite zoo animals. Use the wax paper background technique for birthday card invitations, any kind of wild animal cards, or your scrapbook pages of your latest safari.